Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today, we will be learning how to use the clone, perspective clone, and healing tool in GIMP. These tools are in the brush tool category, all sharing common options. Click the card in the top right corner to watch our video, Brush Tool Common Options, to learn how to use these settings. These tools all produce a similar effect, with the Perspective Clone and Healing Tool introducing a bit more analytical power. Let's start with the Clone Tool. To instantly use any of these tools, hold Control on a PC or Command on a Mac, and sample an area on your active layer that you'd like to clone. After selecting the area I want to clone, I can paint with my brush. See how it clones the visual data within my original sample area. This is great for copying objects or removing parts of an image, like this boat on the horizon. The Perspective Clone tool allows you to create clones with a different perspective than the original image. To create a new perspective, you want to select Modify Perspective at the top of the tool options. Then click on your active layer. This will create a transformation matrix, just like the Unified Transform tool. Using this, I will create a different perspective than the original image. After I've created my perspective, we want to then select Perspective Clone at the top of the tool options. Then we can sample an area on our active layer and paint. The cloned brush strokes will conform to the perspective we previously created. The Healing tool takes the Clone tool a step further and analyzes the area you are painting on to better blend the clone with the original image. This tool is great for correcting blemishes and unwanted objects in photos. On this image, I want to heal this blemish on her jaw. So I will select an area of skin close to it that is more clear. After creating the clone source, I will use my brush to paint over the blemish. I will repeat this process with some of the other blemishes. See how they seamlessly blend with the original photo and look more natural. Now let's look at a few more options these tools share. Hard Edge will ignore any softness of your current brush. This can be useful if you are trying to heal areas that have clean edges that you want to maintain. When healing areas of skin that may be softer, I leave this option unticked, and even turn down the hardness of my brush. Both the clone and Clone Perspective tool share the option Source. From this dropdown, we can have this tool analyze the images in our project or paint out patterns, which you can select from this icon. The Perspective Clone and Healing tool have an option called Sample Merged which causes GIMP to analyze all visual information currently in your project. It also allows you to paint the cloned brush strokes on a new layer separate from the image. This can help preserve pixels and makes editing previous changes very easy. With Sample Merge unticked, GIMP only analyzes the active layer for healing, and I can only paint on this active layer. With Sample Merge selected, 
I can paint on this new layer, above my other two image layers. When I create a sample area, it will analyze all the other layers that are visible and clone accordingly as I paint. Alignment refers to the starting point of the source material every time you stroke with your brush, and how the stroke will behave. As we move through these options, notice how the sample area circle mimics the movement I make with my brush. None causes each brush stroke to be separate and is sampled from our original sample source. Notice how the sample area circle moves as I heal different parts of this image. It always samples from the original area. Each new stroke will create an offset of the sampled image, and continue that offset until you release your mouse and start a new stroke. No matter where I move the brush and stroke, it repeats from our original source. With a line selected, brush strokes are related to one another through the offset created between the area you sample and where you first click with your brush. Each new stroke and click will simply sample the rest of the image at the same offset as your original click. Notice how the sample area moves as I move my brush. and see how it continues to paint the image instead of starting right where we sampled. It's now just revealing this image at an offset that we created. After choosing Registered, I will select Sample Merged, so I can paint this new clone on a new layer. This is because Registered directly copies the placement and contents of the sampled layer, and this will best be demonstrated if I put the clone on a new layer. See how as I create brush strokes, how the image is filling in exactly how it looks on the source layer. If I toggle off this original layer, you can see it basically just revealed the image on the new layer. With Fixed selected, the clone section does not move with your mouse. Instead, it continually replicates the clone pixels. If I draw out this stroke, these pixels that I sampled over here are repeated over and over. And that's it. You've now mastered the Clone, Clone Perspective, and Healing Tool in GIMP. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.